Oakland A's hosting the Seattle Mariners. The Mariners are minus 220 on the money line. The A's are plus 197. The over-under is six and a half runs. Seattle laying a run and a half or plus 100, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. Oakland getting a run and a half are minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. If they lose this game by one, you win. Neither of these pitchers have pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. The Mariners are on a one-game losing streak. They are 7-3 and three in their last 10. They are 35-29 and 29 on the road this year. They are 62-59 and 59 on the run line, meaning if you bet them getting or laying runs, you're three games over 500. The Mariners are 3-0 and as a team with Castillo on the mound, and the over is 2-1 and one in the games in which he's pitched in. The uh, A's are on a one-game winning streak. They're 3-7 in the last 10. They are 18-39 and 39 at home. They are 58 and 63 on the run line. So if you've been betting them getting or laying runs, you're five games under 500. Head to head, Seattle is seven and three against the A's in their last 10. The underdog getting a run and a half is six and four in their last 10. There have been four one run games in their last 10 meetings. The under is six and four in their last 10 meetings. The over under at six and a half is five and five. The road team is six and four. And if you look at both of these pitchers' ERAs, this game should go under if it trends that way. And Seattle hits lefties better than they hit righties. So I'm going Seattle with the money line, Seattle laying the runs, and the under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.